right, everyone. Hello and welcome. My name is uh, Ray Laramore. I'm a sales application engineer here at Ruskin. And we're going to go ahead and get started on today's webinar. Thank you for joining us today. Um, just a quick note that there is the chat bar and questions icon off to the side here. Um, you guys are welcome to tell me if you, we have any issues during this or if you've just got any questions that you really want to jump in with. Um, but I will be providing my email at the end of the webinar in case you guys need uh, to contact me later. Or if you just prefer to wait and ask me your questions at the end. So today I'll be discussing our automatic balancing damper, um, known most commonly as our ABD. Um, I'll talk about function, design, operation, performance, where we typically use it, uh, all the different models and variations that we've come up with uh, for all of your guys' needs. Okay, so like I said, this is what we're going to be going over today, function, design, operation, da da da, -da. Um, and let's get into it. All right, so first of all, the function of it is pretty simple. It's right there in the name. Um, it is to maintain, to balance a constant airflow volume in your HVAC system. Bidirectional design makes it suitable for either supply or exhaust applications, and the engineer blade is calibrated to automatically adjust to varying static pressures using physics, not electricity or any type of outside power, which makes it a really nice economical solution and a truly pressure independent solution. Okay, so let's look at the overall design of this. So that main uh, body and blade are made of a reinforced thermoplastic resin, um, which means that it's nice and heavy duty, doesn't crack very easily, um, has a decent temperature range that it can handle. Um, that blade itself is actually made of two blades. If you can kind of look a little bit closely at that here, you've got a... Uh, <sighs> your fixed stator blade and the movable blade as it's thought of. Um, the stainless steel spring item number three is then attached to it um, and it will apply the necessary tension to hold the movable blade at the targeted airflow. Um, this is where physics comes in. The more pressure that is applied to the spring, the more resistance that the spring pushes back with. Item four is the bearing which is oil filled and hermetically sealed. The outer seal, item five, um, is a full circumference gasket type and will keep the ABD secured when placed into a collar. There are no fasteners needed, no caulking needed. It's a uh, real simple just slip in, um, although it does, it does take a good push to fit it in there. And the nice part about that is it is, in fact, actually uh, difficult to, for someone to just go up and yank it out for, for it to get pushed out or anything. So it does hold very tightly into your system. Um, that seal is also removable too if you've got someone that is looking at maybe a slightly different installation than what we expect. Um, item six is the adjustable arm and one of the nice things about this is that you don't need any tool to change your settings. You don't have to order a different product or have the setting um, known and perfectly figured out from the factory. You simply move the arm with your finger um, and that's it. Just easy as can be, but it does click nicely into place there so that it can't, you know, as airflow goes through there, or maybe pressures go a little bit higher than what you expected it to, or, you know, uh, within reason goes higher than you expect it to, um, doesn't cause anything in there to shift. Um, like I said, that, that does click into place, and that's what 7 is, which is your set point ridge, um, but I'll get into more details with that soon. And then item eight is just a attachable square plate that can be used to secure the ABD in position when used in square duct or steel housing, um, and we can supply that no problem. So like I'd said, there's the uh, simple way of setting it in the field, and this is where we get into operation of it. Um, it's available currently in three sizes, four inch, five inch, and six inch. Um, the four and five inch both have an operating CFM range of 25 to 125, as you can see on here, uh, CFM. The six inch goes more from 50 to 275, though, that you don't see. Um, you can see there you've got the nice little ridges to make it easy to just kind of snap that into place along the edge. Gives you um, a few common points to pick from, plus some in between. Um, 
please note that we do have a recommended operating pressure that's between 0.2 inches and 2 inches of water gauge. Um, above that, uh, it's it's not really rated for operation above or below that, and you do need some pre pressure differential for it to operate, which once you've got an airflow, um, 0.2 isn't much to hit. Um, in testing, though, we were able to maintain plus or minus 10% accuracy of your set points CFM, so it is nice and accurate. Um, as we said, it is a uh, bi-directional, so the frame was embossed with an airflow direction arrow um, that you can see here at the bottom. Um, when installed, the ABD airflow must match the direction of the airflow but I've shown here both the supply and exhaust example to make sure everyone is clear. Um, the view in this example is looking through a grill when the ABD is provided in a steel enclosure assembly. If you use the ABD by itself, just remember to follow the same practice when placing it into an installed position. Um, for our reps, when ordering a configured model, the choice for supply or exhaust is easily se selectable. Um, so this, this shouldn't be any problem for you guys to set up. We t touched on the accuracy a little bit, and this is where we're getting into our performance. We did test this in accordance with AMCA standard 500D, figure 5.1, which uh, is displayed in that upper right-hand corner here. That's figure 5.1. Um, in this example, the chart reflects all the marked CFM points for the 4-inch diameter ABD, and through the full operating pressure range, the CFM is accurate within plus or minus 10% of the setting. You can see that clearly shown um, whether we're at our maximum or minimum plus or minus 10%. Um, the five inch diameter matches this same, same chart. And then uh, just for you guys' reference, here's the six inch. You can see even then, we're still maintaining that plus or minus 10%, still very accurate for a manual device. All right, so applications. Uh, when it comes down to it, where are we gonna be using this? That's very important to all of you I know. Um, it's a highly versatile application. Um, hotels and high-rises are particularly popular. Um, <clears throat> anything that's holding a lot of people in a living situation as well, though, assisted livings, college dorms, um, we've seen them used a lot in college dorms as well. People like them because they're very quiet. Um, some have used the ABD and OEM applications, such as chilled beams, fan coil units, and PTAC units as well, though. Suitable application temperature range is between 25 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's virtually maintenance-free, which is really nice because people are very bad, we've found, about maintaining anything that helps maintain their airflow. Um, so here's an example, um, crude but simple, of a high-rise building application where the automatic balancing damper is able to respond to system changes and maintain your CFM. The view on the left illustrates system effects that can be observed when utilizing traditional manual balancing dampers. In contrast, the view on the right benefits that are observed when utilizing an ABD throughout the building. Since the ABD is pressure independent, it automatically adjusts to compensate for the system effects. Um, another benefit that you can see is the ABD offers uh, MIDI that the ABD offers is mitigating stack effect during colder months by its ability to maintain consistent CFM rates throughout the floors. Um, as you can see, you can end up wasting a lot of energy um, in some parts of your building. You can end up with other parts of your building where you risk sick building syndrome or mold growth or just genuinely terrible airflow, and it creates kind of a miserable office or living environment. Um, I know that it's often a joke um, in office buildings that I've been in about how you can walk into one part of the building and it's freezing cold and stuffy or another part is ridiculously warm um, or other parts are breezy. Part of the reason is because of poorly controlled ventilation. So you also create yourself a nice, healthier, happier office environment. You won't fall asleep at your desk. I mean, feel free to take that from me to a... Uh, blame the next time you fall asleep at your desk on poor airflow. Let me know how that goes over with your boss. I'm sure it'll be great. All right, so let's talk about our models. Um, as you can see, we have six choices. We've really tried to think about the variation that you need here. Um, that That's 
just the ABD itself along with different arrangements that we have, and I'm going to go through each of these real briefly with you guys. All right, so first we have the basic ABD model, um, available in 4, 5, or 6 inch. The ABD is supplied with a quick connect adapter ring, as we discussed, used it in square or rectangular applications. Um, and the ABD itself can be installed into spiral ductwork, a round collar, or diffuser neck, and the perimeter has that nice gasket skew. We've kind of gone over all of that, but now we get into uh, some of the ways that we've looked at and that you guys have told us that you need to use it. So, for example, we have the uh, SEA-ST variation, which is designed for both supply or exhaust and includes a 24-gauge steel enclosure, an aluminum grill, <clears throat> and a steel side tap where the ABD is housed. You'll notice the four standard sizes and the general configuration. All right, so then we have the SEA-E, which is designed once again for both supply and exhaust. It includes a 24 gauge steel transition box and just the aluminum grill with the extended steel collar where the ABD is housed. Once again, four standard grill sizes there. All right, then this is a really cool option because we actually have a uh, UL-rated design here. The whole assembly is UL-rated rather than um, some brands. The damper itself is rated, and then you can add the ABD to it, but the whole assembly itself is not a UL-rated assembly. Um, those of you who work on the life safety side know how great that can be to have. Um, so once again, we're designed for both supply and exhaust. We've got that 24 gauge steel enclosure, an aluminum grill, and that extended steel collar along with it. Um, and you can see that uh, quick connect on the back here is what we're using to attach onto this. Oh my goodness. My goodness, I'm so sorry, guys. I got ahead of myself. Um, the SEA is, in fact, just the uh, installation within a box. Then we've got our uh, ABD-FD. I'm sorry about that. Um, everything I said about that being for supply and exhaust still applies here. Um, and then, yeah, everything, quick connect collar, all of that is still used. Um, there we go. There's our life safety assembly. Um, yeah, and the only thing that I'll add on to note here um, is this is usually used in a typical two-hour rated shaft where the grill is used on the other side. Um, your fire damper does still have to be within the plane of the wall, um, but this also gives you regulated airflow behind that opening, which is really nice, especially in hotels. We've seen it being popular. Um, hotels, dorm rooms, etc. It's been great. see here. Uh, here we show some of the uh, variation here that we've got for a rated roof assembly. Um, maintaining a roof assembly can be really frustrating to do along with when you've got to maintain airflow. Um, so this helps you maintain the UL 555C radiation fire damper into a steel sleeve assembly with an aluminum grill and it's got the extended side collar that houses the ABD. This model can be applied in a ceiling design that our CFD models are currently used in. This includes both wood and non-wood constructed roof floor ceiling assemblies. Like the ABDFD version, the ABD CFD provides heat radiation protection, the lower membrane, and regulates your airflow. All right, so this brings us to the close of our uh, presentation here. So we've talked about function, design, operation, um, various applications, the different design options that we can do for you guys. Um, we hope you'll consider these. You'll follow up with us and ask questions. Um, if you ever need help with any aspect of this, we do encourage you to reach out to us. Here's my email. And if you've got any questions, feel free to submit them to us, and we'll be happy to help you out. Um, just to note that this presentation will be up on our YouTube channel for you guys to reference at a later date. 
um, share with anyone that you think might be interested in the product. And we would encourage you to join us for our next day, next presentation, which will be on critical environment dampers. Um, that's going to be on 1010 at 2.30. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'm going to go ahead and sign off.